In this tutorial, we will be learning how to create a module and a package. Creating Python modules is something that most Python programmers do every day without even thinking about it. Anytime that you save a new Python script, you've created a new module. You can import your module into other modules. A package is a collection of related modules. The things you import into your scripts from the standard library are modules or packages. So, in this video, we will learn how to create modules and packages. And let's take a look at how to create a module first. So we need to create a new file. And then we'll just create a, a bunch of little functions. So, add x and y. And all it's going to do is return x plus y. And we're going to create a division. We'll also have an x and y that you pass to it. And then we turn x divided by y. And then we'll create a multiply x and y. As you might guess, it's going to return x times y. And we also need to have a subtract x and y. So it's going to return x minus y. And we'll just save this thing. And I think we'll put it into its own folder in my code folder. I created a my math folder and we're going to put it in there for now. We're going to call it arithmetic.py. And then we're going to create another file so you can see how to import it. So here's a new file, and save it first, and we'll just call it test.py, oops, and this one will import arithmetic. Now you notice that I saved test.py in the same folder that arithmetic.py is in. Well, if you know anything about Python, it always looks in the, when you go to import something, it always looks in the same folder as the file that you are currently using. So, and then it'll look into the Python path. So basically what this is going to do is Python will look to see if there's an arithmetic.py in the same folder that test.py is in. And if there is, it'll import it. Otherwise, it'll go and it'll go through all the different th paths that are in sys.path. I'll show you that later about how that works. but. Anyway, that's how that works, and this is how you can actually cause problems for yourself if you were to save a file called sys.py, because if you did that and you tried to import sys, you get your custom sys instead of the Python sys. So that's called shadowing a uh, standard library module or package. But anyway, enough of that. Let's try this out. So we're going to print, and we're going to print arithmetic. And dot add five and eight. Oops. And we'll print a couple more. Arithmetic dot subtract ten and five. And let's do one more. Arithmetic dot multiply about. I'm gonna do five times five. All right, so save that, and let's see if this works. Okay, so we have successfully created a module, and we were able to import it and use it. That was super easy, and in fact, you could even import test.py, but all test.py would do if you imported it is print out these three things. So that wouldn't be very useful. Next up, we're going to learn a little bit about sys. Actually, let's just do that right now. So we'll import sys. I want to show you how that path part works. So if we do sys.path, it'll print out all these paths. And you'll notice that the first path that it checks is that path that we were just in, the my math, uh, users Michael documents code my math, which is where we had that stuff saved. Then it looks in documents, and then it goes to our framework area and looks in a zip file, 34, and then a bunch of other locations. The biggest one will be site packages where most of your Python packages will be installed. 
And actually, because this is a list, we can add to it. And we're going to do that in a little bit. So the next thing we want to learn about is how to create a Python package. All right, so we created our Python package. Let's go back to that folder that we had earlier. And let's actually uh, delete these for temporarily because we don't need them. So I want, to, I want this to be a nice clean area. So we'll just delete these because we don't need them for now. And in this, we need to create an init.py file. Let's go back to code. And we'll go back to my math. And we'll save an init.py file. So when you do an init.py file, it's actually double underscore, double underscore. So you see it's double underscore init double underscore dot pi. And we're going to save that. And you can actually leave it empty for now. So basically what this is doing is turning the MyMath folder into an importable package just by adding that magic init.py file. It's pretty cool and kind of confusing. But as you get as you dig into Python internals, you'll find that it's really, really useful. Let's switch to some of these things that are still open and just close those. We don't get confused. All right. So let's go ahead and create some smaller modules. So let's go back here and we'll create another folder. And we'll call it advanced. And let's go in there and actually create something new. So we'll go in here, and we're going to create our own little square root function. SQRT. And all this thing is going to do is import our extended module math. And we'll just do a quick square root of n, which will be the number that we pass in. And we'll return math dot square root of n. So that's super simple. We also need to save an init.py here too. Okay. So that's saved and it's blank and everything's hunky dory. Alright. Oops. Let's go ahead and create a couple more quick little files. So we'll save all these right here at the top level. Call this one add.py. And we'll create that add function again, but it'll be all by itself this time. So x plus y, save. Let's just create each of those and put them in here. So we'll do subtract, x and y, x minus y, save. Subtract. And we need two more to make this a fully functional little package. Do multiply. Okay, multiply. Oops, I misnamed that. I'll fix that here in a little bit. All right. And we need to create a division one. X and Y. And this will return X divided by Y. And as you may notice, this doesn't have any error handling. So if you passed a zero as Y, you get a division error. It, ha it has a lot of little issues like that, but we can always fix that later. This is just a good little example. So let's close these. Right, let's go back to the init.py because we need to actually modify that just a little bit. So in this particular one, the reason that we're going to modify this is that if we leave it the way it is, you may have to type my when you import my math, you may have to do my math dot add dot add to get it to work correctly. Because if you look at that add at that add file you'll notice that it has add inside of it. So add.py will be add.add. .add. 
So when you import my math, it'll be my math dot add dot add, which is kind of cr kind of crummy. So let's fix that in our ini file. I mean our init file. So from dot, which means the current directory. Import from dot. Add import add from dot divide import division from dot multiply import multiply from dot subtract import subtract from dot nv dot square root import our special square root and save that and now we should have a little bit smarter my math mo uh, package let's take a look and see if we can get it to work correctly all right so let's go back and make sure i did this right i noticed that i have divide in here so let's fix that to make a division and save that and then let's go and create a test module so I created test.mymath, or test underscore my math. And this is actually up a level. It's not inside the my math folder. And so let me show you. So this is the my math folder. And we're just going to go up one level to my code folder. And documents code. I've got a bunch of different pieces of code in here. And in here we have test my math. So that's what we're going to use, this one right here. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to modify the path, and we're going to import sys, and then do sys.path.append and add that path to our search path, because it's not going to be on it automatically like it was before. And then we're going to import my math, which is the module that we just added to the system path. And then if we did it correctly, if we get edited that INI file, uh, that init file correctly, all of this other stuff should work. So let's try it out and see what happens. Awesome. So we got output and it looks correct. So now we know how to create a package and make it work appropriately. That's very cool. At this point, you should be able to create a module and a package on your own. If you want to, do a little bit of extra homework, you should go and look up how to create a setup file using setup tools. This will allow you to actually install the MyMath package that you created. It's actually really, really easy, and I recommend trying that out yourself. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Thank you.